Good morning, is what normal families say. Lois, I'll take my breakfast to go. I'm going fishing with the fellas. Hey, Dad, I thought we were going to have some family time this weekend. You going fishing again? Boy, it's not like Quagmire to be this late. Yeah. Geez, I've never tried to make conversation with just Joe before. This is brutal. Come on, Joe, you're losing him. Think of something. This was your shot. Hey, Quagmire? You in there? <gasps> Holy crap! Oh my god! He must have autoerotically asphyxiated himself! Yeah, while he was watching clown porn. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, Peter, we came as soon as we heard. How is he? He's in a coma, Lois. My God, what the hell happened? He hung himself during autoerotic asphyxiation. Just goes to show anything can be dangerous. Is his family here? His sister Brenda is coming with her boyfriend, Jeff. Oh, my God. Well, Miss Quagmire, your brother Glenn is lucky to be alive. You know, we're all lucky to be alive on such a beautiful day. In fact, nurse, all surgeries are outside today. You know... When we were kids, our, our mother used to sing a song when we were sad. Maybe that'll help. Where am I? What happened? Oh, Glenn! Oh, thank God you're all right! Hey, you touching my girl? Uh, relax, Jeff. That's her brother. Yeah, that's how it starts. Come on, Brenda. We gotta get out of here. I need cigarettes and jeans. Uh, listen, how about I make us all some dinner, huh? Come here! You fat, ugly bitch! If today wasn't your birthday... Jeff, please, you're being... What? What am I being? Crazy? Unemployed? Why don't you call the cops like you did on Christmas? All that unpleasantness with Brenda and Jeff was more than I can handle. It's no big deal, Lois. We probably just caught him on an off night. Where do you get off calling me a deadbeat in front of your brother? No, Jeff, all I said was that you were in between jobs. Well, it wouldn't matter if you would just pick up that night shift at the prison. But then I'll be working a hundred hours a week. Hi, Glenn. How are you? Not great, Lois. I'm stuck in the middle of some bad stuff with my sister. I know. It sounded like there was quite a ruckus going on over there last night. That Jeff seems like kind of a monster. Yeah, that guy's scary as an Iraq lobster. I've tried talking to Brenda about leaving him, but I haven't gotten anywhere. I was actually hoping you could talk to her, Lois. She might open up more to you, you know, because you're a woman. Me? Yeah, would you mind at least trying? Well, I guess she does need someone to talk to. Well, let's hope she's good at talking, because we know she doesn't listen so good. That we know. Oh, my God. No, it's really not that bad. It only hurts when I see. You know, you don't have to stay with a man who treats you that way. Oh, Jeff's sweet. You don't see how soft and gentle he hits me when we're alone. Do you hear yourself? He shouldn't be hitting you at all. I don't think you understand how serious a matter that... Close your mouth. It'll be better when he gets back to work. Our relationship is just complicated, that's all. No, Brenda, it's not complicated. Trying to get a straight answer out of a 23-year-old girl is complicated. Joe, the guy's a menace. They've been with me three days now, and all he does is beat her day and night. And on top of that, they say they don't need to be entertained, but then they're always like, hey, so what are we doing? What's next? Hey, Joe, can't you, can't you just arrest the guy? I can't arrest Jeff unless Brenda files a formal complaint with the police. Oh, that sounds great. I bet I would really shine at one of those. All right, well, first we want to thank you all for being here for Brenda. Now, I know it's going to be a long day, but we're all here because we care about her very much. What the... what's going on? What's all this? I feel like if he likes you, maybe you can change him. Okay, maybe she wasn't the one to start with. Caleb? Caleb, you want to go ahead? M me? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, it's Chris. Y you don't know my name? Brenda, the fact that you are being abused has affected my life in the following ways. The sister that I knew and loved growing up no longer exists. The person I see before me now is just a punching bag. I, I want the girl I grew up with back. I want... I, I want my sister back. I, Brenda, I love you. Please make the right decision. Which is a perfect time for me to tell my jokes. Peter! And I will save them for the end. What the hell's going on here? Listen here, you bully. For your information, Brenda just agreed to leave you. Like hell she did. Brenda, you tell him? No, not yet. Everyone, I have wonderful news. Jeff and I are getting married. <gasps> Guys, what the hell am I gonna do? She can't marry that bastard. He's just gonna keep beating her, and then he's gonna beat the kid, too. 
God, I wish she'd never met Jeffrey Fiekelman. You know, I was thinking, wait, what? What? That's his name? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, Quagmire. You know I could arrest you just for saying that. You know what else you can get arrested for? Soliciting a rooster. I don't know what this cock-a-doodle-do thing is, but it sounds gay and it sounds scatological. I'm in. You're about to have a neat day. <laughs> what the hell? Did you change the channel while I was going to get a beer? Oh, yeah. I I'm sorry, honey. I just wanted to see who was on Letterman. We're watching Leno, you bitch! I'm so sorry! His soft, gentle humor connects effortlessly with my mainstream sensibilities! No! I don't get that one! Hi there, Jeff. Hey, what's going on, dudes? Brenda just fell. Get your lazy ass up and get my uh neighbors some beers! Actually, we don't have time, Jeff. We were just about to go on our annual midnight hunting. Okay, okay, who would you rather do? Dame Judy Dench with 30 minutes of kissing first, or Eddie Izzard in drag, but he has a working vagina? Would Eddie Izzard tell others about it? Eddie Izzard is very discreet. And that's your answer. You know, Quagmire, I gotta say, I was pretty surprised you wanted me to come along. You know, Quagmire, you are pathetic. You have to bring your friends out here with you to do your dirty work? What? What, what do you mean, Jeff? You're gonna kill me, is that it? Uh-uh, not unless you want your friend's brains all over the place. Fine. Now here's the plan. I'm taking Quagmire for a little ride, and you guys are gonna stay out here and freeze to death. Now get those hands where I can see them. All the way up. Oh, my shirt's a little too short. That's okay. You can keep them the way you had them so it covers your stomach. Well, Quagmire, sorry it had to end this way. A tragic hunting accident. I guess that little baby's gonna grow up without an uncle. Suit yourself, man. Just means you're gonna die slower. Choke myself every day, you bastard! <laughs> oh, Glenn, there you are. Jeff didn't come home last night, and he hasn't called. Uh, well, actually, about that, Brenda, he must have left early this morning. Yeah, we found this note he left you. And no one will care because you're garbage. And your baby is going to be a child of garbage. It's a little rough, Peter. I didn't write it, Joe did. I wanted it to sound real. It's gotta sound like he wrote it. Plus, she kinda is garbage, Quagmire. Well, I best be rolling on now. Oh, come on, who says that? It's an expression. <laughs> I kinda wanna kill somebody else now. Oh, what? Brian? I'm gonna cut my ear off to prevent World War II. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! I wonder. Don't worry, Brian. I'm gonna stay by your side all night, all right? Shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. Do you like my soothing voice? Do you like my soothing voice? <laughs> Return the map. There, there, there. Everything's gonna be fine. You're all right. I think I'm... I think I'm dying. Jane Fonda. Is that... Is that... Is that... Is that, is that right? Yeah, that's right, buddy. Totally Jane Fonda. It's gonna be okay. Your pal Stewie is right here. Brown, dead, brown. Brown, dead, brown. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Oh, Peanuts! Slip me some tongue. 
Did you try the chicken, buddy? Ryan. Oh, Stewie. Uh, st Stewie? Yeah, I'm right here. Oh my god, your lip looks really weird. Can we fix that? Can, can, uh, uh, get that out of there. Ew. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Let's get you downstairs so you can drink some water.